Today I'm going to show you how to weave the gravity drop weight pockets onto the TransPack XT harness. We're going to start with the right side here. And what I've already done is I've already removed all of the hardware and I've removed the waste webbing from the capture on the, the hip pad of the TransPack XT. I left this in place because this is actually going to stay right where it is so we don't lose our adjustment that we've already gotten for the TransPack. On the back side of the gravity drops, we have two straps to accommodate two inch webbing. This back one is actually going to keep this from shifting forward. So we're going to use that as our stop for the weight pocket. So once again, I've already pulled this off. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to pull this out of the way, but remember where I've placed that. And a lot of times the webbing is going to take a set so you don't have to worry too much about marking it with a pen or a marker or something. Next thing we're going to do, remember how the pockets need to be oriented on the waist so that they're outside, don't put them upside down. We're going to go ahead and slide onto this first one here. And the side plate always needs to angle out away from the center of the back plate just as a, a rule, and we're actually going to put that back into place right where we've taken it off from. The side plate locks itself into place because of the teeth that are built into the side plate. Now it's a simple matter of passing the webbing back through. All of our webbing loops, including the hip pad webbing loop, And put your D-ring back where you want your D-ring to be placed, generally where you can reach it. And now this weight pocket is locked in place. It's going to be shifted back towards the back plate, which is a good place for your weight. It helps you to trim out better, and it is not going to move. And that is how you put the gravity drop onto a TransPack XT.